We need you. We need you. We need you. In the lead-up to the Iowa caucus, former Vice President Joe Biden was vocal on the campaign trail, at every stop imploring voters to throw their support behind him, repeatedly making the point that he is the candidate that can take on Donald Trump in November. I promise you, if you stand with me, we will end, end Trump's reign of hatred and division and unite this country. Dakota News Now political analyst Jeff Stein, speaking with us via Skype from Waterloo, says anything less than first in the Iowa caucus seriously damages Joe Biden. I think, Brian, conventional wisdom would suggest that if Biden does not win, it will be seen as a huge detriment to his ongoing campaign. Stein says of the other three frontrunners, Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren can point to having to spend more time in Washington for impeachment as a reason for a lackluster Iowa performance. And Pete Buttigieg can point to it being his first time in the presidential arena. But Biden, who has twice before run for president and who is a former vice president, Stein says there's no real way to blunt the effect of an Iowa caucus loss. The main thing that people are thinking of is electability. That is not only what the candidates have been harping on in this last weekend, but it's what voters say they're looking for. We can tell you that caucus sites all across Des Moines are reporting impressive turnout tonight, but we're going to have to wait and see if it is a record level of turnout. And as you mentioned, we're also going to wait and see who exactly has won on the Democratic side of things. At this late hour, we still have no results from the state Democratic Party. They released a statement about 15 minutes ago explaining that the delay is the result of wanting to get the vote right and preserve the integrity of the caucus process. A lot of people still waiting to see what exactly has happened here this evening. We are reporting live in Des Moines with photojournalist Troy Timmerman. I'm Brian Allen, Dakota News Now.